What's going on kids? Pastor Jacob here with another Life Group video. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. This week, we're in the very last book of the Old Testament. Do you know what the last book of the Old Testament is? The last book is Malachi. Malachi comes after the book of Zechariah and before the book of Matthew. Take a minute and find Malachi chapter 1. The year is 430 BC. The people of Judah are back in Jerusalem. The temple is rebuilt. The walls are rebuilt. Life should be good, but it isn't. While the people of Judah finally had their homeland back, finally had a place to worship God, they don't. Well, they kind of did. Their priests would offer sacrifices to God, but they just gave the leftovers. Not the best that God had asked for. God asked them, would you give these offerings to, to the rulers on earth? No way. God loves the people of Judah. He wanted to remind them of that love and to remind them of all that he's done for them. So God used Malachi to tell the priest and to tell the people of Judah, stop giving God the leftovers. God deserves to be worshipped with our very best. Malachi reminded the people that God loved them and how God has continuously blessed them. But the people of Judah, they questioned God. They really weren't sure if God actually cared or not. They questioned, God, how have we given you bad sacrifices and worshipped you badly? God reminded them from the very beginning going all the way back to Jacob, the grandson of Abraham, how God had blessed the people of Judah, promised to make them a great nation, and he's continued to keep that promise throughout all of history, even when Judah didn't listen. Malachi told the people that God should be worshiped with respect and honor. Do you know what respect and honor means? Respect means to really admire someone. So if you have a teacher that who does a lot to help you in class and works really hard to help you learn, you would respect and admire that teacher for what they've done for you. Honor is the same as respect, but we usually use it for people who are really important. And Malachi is trying to remind the people of Judah that no one is more important than God. There are so many people in our lives who have done great things for us, like parents and pastors and teachers, and we should respect and honor those people but no one has done what God can do for us. God has given us a way to save us from our sins. No one else can save us. Nothing we do can save us from our sins. It is only by God's grace and through faith in Jesus that we can be saved. God doing that for us should make us want to worship Him with all the respect and all the honor that we have all the time. How can we not worship Him with our very best when He's done something for us that no one else can do? Kids, don't you understand how just incredible that is? We were lost in our sins, trapped by our sins. There was no one who could save us. There was nothing we could do. But then Jesus died on the cross and rose again, beating death and giving us a way to be set free from our sins. Romans 10, 9 tells us if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Have you put your faith in Jesus? Have you made Jesus the Lord of your life? It isn't just about going to church or mom and dad being a Christian. We all have to come to Jesus ourselves and admit that we're sinners. Believe that Jesus died for our sins and confess that he is Lord. If you haven't put your trust in Jesus, or maybe you have questions about what it means to be saved, spend some time talking to your parents. And parents, call the church office and let us help you with those conversations if we need to. We would love to help you talk with your child about putting their faith in Jesus. Malachi is such a great book to remind us that God alone is worthy of the best worship that we have to give. And I hope that we all focus this week on worshiping God like He deserves. Next week, we're gonna go way back in time. Like, 
all the way back. I can't wait to keep exploring the Bible with you all. It's time for our memory verse. I bet you know exactly where our memory verse is by now. We're in the book of Psalms, so remember that's right in the middle of your Bible. Then we're in chapter 113, verse 3. Let's practice our verse together. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 113, verse 3. Great job! Let's do our motions together. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 113, verse 3. Man, you guys are doing such a great job. This is our last week with this memory verse, so I hope that you've hid these words in your heart and remember that God deserves our best worship that we have. And He deserves to be praised from the rising of the sun to its setting. See you guys next week for our new memory verse. Hi boys and girls, I'm so excited that you guys are here with me. Pastor Jacob shared this morning how we should worship God with respect and honor. And our memory verse also talks about worshiping God. It teaches us from the rising to the setting sun, God's name is to be praised. I thought, let's make a sun. All you need is some Q-tips, paper, and paint. Take your Q-tips and dip them in some paint. Then you can use your Q-tips to draw a sun. If you don't have paint, you can always use a marker to make dots in the shape of a sun, just like I did. Then write your memory verse on your paper. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 113.3 I hope you all have a great week. Bye!